Yeah, just a note, uh, if you uh, have one of these uh, little uh, cabins delivered, um, you need to make sure you have a permit from code enforcement. And uh, also, uh, you know, they'll tell you that these uh, little cabins are up on skids, on those little wooden, I call them skis, but you know. But... Uh, and they say that those can be put right on the ground, but make them put them up on some cement blocks. Cement blocks are cheap, you know. Uh, and another reason you want to do that is, like, with this yard, your, your yard's at an angle. Some of this seems common sense, but, you know, sometimes you don't think about stuff. Uh, but you can see here the yard is already filling in on this side because you're going up a hill. And... Um, it's just best to have it up on blocks and try to have something up in the yard, you know, to, to hold hold the yard from washing back. The bamboo is good. There needs to be something right there as well. Okay, we're back to the cabin. Uh, they're trying to uh, loosen the two by fours on the inside uh, where they can uh, cut through the wall easier, so they're probably going to remove a couple of the inside studs. I'm not going in there because they're busy working and it's a tight space. As you can see, they're coming through the back wall. And the this back is probably in sections. Um, but the double door is going to be fairly wide, over 60 inches, so it's going to take up a good bit of space. Or so, uh, we got to make sure it's properly framed in and uh, placed, you know, so the, the back of the cabin won't be totally destroyed. 